Are you having ringing in the ear? You've gone to the doctor, there's nothing physically wrong with you or medically wrong with you, but the ringing keeps happening. It may be spiritual. It may be part of your spiritual awakening. Hi there, beautiful souls. I'm Michelle Duquet. Welcome to my channel, Soulful and Unplugged, a channel about the spiritual awakening journey where I show you how to live a more joyful life by helping you navigate your human journey through your soul's perspective. I've come across a lot of people who are having this ringing in the ear, especially in the last few months. It's especially strong. So what may be happening is that you're becoming more attuned to the energies, to the higher frequency energies, and you're able to hear things that you weren't able to hear before. The first time I noticed it was in 2016. I um I was taking a course on energy healing and I had been setting up my energy room as the place where I do treatments and I've since you know built up my practice and I I that's where I receive people now it's on Zoom because of the pandemic but I noticed that whenever I gave a treatment whenever I let's say gave the treatment the treatment was finished and I went into another room every time I re-entered the room where I had given this energy treatment, I could hear this super high pitch buzz, like very high. Then I'd leave the room and I didn't hear it anymore. So more and more this was happening over the last you know, five years. And I've been noticing it a lot in the last few months. It comes, boom, it lasts 30 seconds and then it leaves. So I started paying more attention to it to figure out what the energetic realms were trying to communicate to me through what I was hearing in these higher frequencies. And as I was talking to some friends about it, I thought, I'm going to talk about the different things that may be going on and see if you can relate to some of these. Because as you are spiritually awakening, you're going to vibrate at a very different frequency. You're going to be more attuned to higher and higher frequencies. And especially now with all the frequencies changing so rapidly and ascending, what you may be able to hear now is something that you just weren't yet attuned to before. And also what may be happening is that you may be developing some abilities like clairaudience, clairvoyance, clairsentience, and clear cognizance. So I'm going to specifically talk about clairaudience. And we're all capable of these um, psychic abilities. It's just that, you know, if you want to work on it, if you want to develop it a little more, you may be well on your way if you're having this ringing in the ear because you're able to hear something that others simply don't hear. Clairaudience also has to do with you you may hear footsteps, you may hear you may hear wind chimes. I hear wind chimes and there's no wind chimes and I will hear a music very strongly. A whole symphony will be playing and I'll hear it and it's clearly not playing. What happens is you are clearing so much of, you know, your ancestral trauma, your personal trauma, things from your childhood in this life. You are clearing so much of your programming that your vibration is going to shift drastically and you are going to be vibrating at a higher frequency. And what that does, it, it, it makes the veil between this dimension and the other dimension so thin that the energetic entities that surround you, your guides, angels, energetic beings can communicate to you directly. If you quiet your mind and you go into a very quiet space and you ask a specific question, you will hear a very specific answer. If you can train yourself to not dismiss that, to accept it and act on it. Now, again, <laughs> you've gone to the doctor, you've this ringing in the ear, there's no medical issue whatsoever. Because yeah, of course, it can be a medical condition. 
a lot of people have ringing in the ear, but it's a medical condition or they have a virus or an infection or something that has caused their hearing to be affected that way. I'm not, this isn't it. This is, this is something that has no medical cause. And what's happening is that you're hearing energies. You are shifting energies and you are hearing that shift in energy. And the thing is, it's, it's ephemeral. It's, it's vague. It's like trying to catch something that's hard to catch. So you can't purposely listen for it. It comes and catches you by surprise. And all of a sudden you're like, oh, wow, that's, that's, that's pretty high pitch. That's pretty loud. What's going on? I wasn't listening to loud music in my headphones. What is that? So it's you becoming more attuned to the higher frequencies and the new vibrational pitch. It's a new pitch that got your attention. So what I do now in these very, very interesting months and times that we are going through, what I do is I pay attention to what I was thinking about or what I was doing. It's a call to pay attention to the energies for me. That's just my own experience. When I hear that, I think, what was I just thinking? What was I just visualizing? What was I just doing? It's a call to attention, a call to attention to the energies of what that was. It's meant to awaken you to what is happening energetically. It's telling you, you have this capacity to tap into the energetic realms. So it's getting your attention to say, these energies you can pick up on. The other thing it could be is you going through an energetic upgrade, which a lot of us are right now. The energies are shifting very quickly and we are all adjusting to this new us, you know, so you're adjusting to a new you and this is a frequency upgrade that you're getting and you're being noted, you're putting, you're being, you know, called to attention, like, okay, it's happening. <laughs> it's happening. Pay attention. You see the messages that we, that we get usually from the universe are unexpected things like, you know, um, certain numbers, repetitive numbers that you see, or a sign, uh, a billboard that you see, or a song that keeps repeating, or a friend that suddenly brings you flowers. And for me, flowers always mean that uh, spirit is saying hello. So if someone out of the blue brings me flowers, to me, it's like spirit saying hello. <laughs> but ringing in the ear is a more direct form of communication. It's a more impactful way that messages are being sent because it's really personal. It's, it's inside. It's not something from the outside that, that you see. It's, it's inside of you, and it's directly affecting your own vibration with the messages that are coming in. So in my experience of this ringing in the ear, it comes and goes. It's not constant. Um, I think if it's constant, you definitely need to seek medical attention. But if it, if it comes and go, and it is something that you're actually listening to that's a very high pitch, I would say look into training and developing a clear audience gift that you probably have. But we all have the ability to communicate telepathically and communicate and uh, messages and receive messages. But, you know, you have to be attuned to it. And sometimes training for it is also something that is doable. It's like hearing telepathically. It's the energetic realms trying to communicate to you to let you know that they're there and that you have the ability to hear them. And if you pay more and more attention to it, and if you focus more your attention on what is happening in the present moment, you begin to develop a sense that maybe these can be put into thoughts or words and you catch these words once in a while, you're going to be amazed at all that you can do and how powerful you are as a gifted spiritual being. Each and every one of us has a gift to offer to the world. So hopefully today you may have discovered that you have a gift 
and that you can work at developing it. And if this ringing in the ear has been bothering you, hopefully this will change your perspective on that, that you'll actually be glad every time you hear it rather than fear it, rather than think something's wrong. It may be that something is just very right and very beautiful, like you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Mwah! Sending lots and lots and lots of love. Bye for now.